Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Tuesday, April 7th, 2015, around 7.20 p.m. in Bellarmine, Massachusetts. It's still cloudy out. It's about 39 degrees out. And tomorrow we could get some rain or snow showers, but nothing significant about snow. I heard next week we could be in a, in a spring heat wave, 60s and 70s, which is pretty good. No Red Sox, no Bruins, no Celtics tonight. So all the Boston sports teams are off. And that's about it on that. And my third and final video blog subject of the night is the continuation of the of the Minnesota Minnesota's greatest sports athlete of all time. I've now reached Dino Cicerelli, who played many years with the Minnesota North Stars, right winger. Uh, and Dino Cicerelli was one of the greatest gold scorers in in North Stars history, and he played many years in the NHL. Dino was born and he grew up in Salinita. Ontario, Canada, and he played minor junior hockey for the center, um, center, center Bees, and he was, he scored lots of goals. He was a sniper, a sharpshooter. He scored a lot of goals in junior minor hockey. Then he played for the London Knights for four seasons on, in the Ontario Hockey League. That's junior a hockey and he scored 169 goals in his junior career he was not drafted by an nhl team because in the middle of his of a season dino suffered a serious broken leg that was gruesome he needed to get a steel rod plate in set in, in it and all the nhl teams were very scared of drafting a dino because they thought he would he might not be the same player but the Minnesota North Stars signed him to a free agent contract in 1979. Then after G Dino's fourth season in junior hockey, he signed a contract with the North Stars. He scored 169 goals during his time with the London Knights. He spent one and a half seasons in the minor leagues for, for the Minnesota North Star system. Then he was called up in the middle of the 1980-81 season with the North Stars, he played 19 seasons in the National Hockey League, mainly for the North Stars, the Capitals, Red Wings, Lightnings, and Panthers. And he, he was a consistent 20-goal scorer. 15 times during his career, Dino scored at least 20 or more goals. Two of them, he was 50 goal seasons. Three times he scored 50 or more. He, uh, or more assist on goals, which was pretty good. Two times he cracked the 100 point mark, but there were many seasons that Dino scored more goals than assists because he was a very, very good, consistent goal scorer and a great sharp shooter. He made Stanley Cup Finals in his rookie season for the North Stars, making it to the Stanley Cup Finals in 1981, but they lost to the um, New York Islanders. Dino was traded at the trading deadline in the in the 1989 season to the Capitals for Mike Gardner. And then he bounced around like to the Red Wings. He scored his 500 gold in a Red, Red Wings uniform. He made a, the Cup Finals in 1995 with the Red Wings, but they were swept by the New Jersey Devils. Then he went to the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Florida Panthers. And he ended his career with the Panthers. He was a four-time NHL All-Star. He played in four, four NHL All-Star games. And Dino Cicerelli had some troubles off the ice. He was convicted and was sent and got probation in 1987 for indecent exposure. Exposure, and that wasn't good. Then. He spent one day in jail in 1988 and fined $1,000 for attacking Maple Leafs defenseman Luke Richardson in a game in 1988 with a stick. Uh, that, that was not very good at all for Dino at all. And his career stats, Dino, 608 goals, 592 assists, 
1,200 points. His playoff stats were 73 goals, 45 assists for 118 points. Dino was f f eligible for the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2002, but it took him nine years to get finally voted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2010. I think there was rumors that he was punished for his off-the-ice incidents that he had in his career with the indecent exposure or being like thrown in jail for attacking a player. I think many many people on the board, the Hockey Hall of Fame board of directors punished Dino for a few years before finally getting an induction in 2010. He should have been inducted years prior to it, but I, I think maybe there were strong classes for Hockey Hall of Fame in the, like the 2000s and stuff and there was probably no room for Dino Cicerelli for one of those years but those things happen. Dino's probably I think the second leading all-time goal scorer in, in North Stars history and he should have his number with number 20 retired by the star Stars probably in doubt he never played for the Dallas Stars but the organization should retire as number 20 because he was one of the best goal pure gold scorers in North Stars history. It's too bad he never won a cup with the North Stars or any other team because he was one hell of a great player and one of the probably best pure gold scorers in NHL history. And that's about it on Dino Cicerelli. And that's about it on these video blogs for the night. Well, I'll be back tomorrow, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. You're gonna get three more video blogs First video blog will be about my take on who's going to win the 2014-2015 NBA MVP. Then I'm going to talk about the continuation of regional professional wrestling territories. I'm going to talk about the USWA, the Dallas version, which lasted from um, August of 1989 through June of 1991. I'll tell you the story about that. The third and final video blog of the night will be about Harmon Killebrew. And coming soon, Facebook, YouTube, and Daily Motion. Lots of more topics to be covered. I'm going to talk about the, the boom of baseball parks in the 1990s and 2000s. Then we'll have more regional wrestling territories like the CWA, USWA, Smoky Mountain Wrestling, Global Wrestling Federation, and Portland Wrestling. And there'll be there'll be more NHL and NBA playoff previews next week. Talk about the history of candle pin bowling on television in New England, and more personality profiles on on Fran and then The Rock, um, Wayne Gretzky, Julie Button, Heidi Pratt, Bob Barker, and lots of others. And coming in May, the personality profiles will be taken a hiatus, but the return of the top ten list of everything and anything's coming back in May, and it's got. And the month of May will cover the top ten players of each NBA franchise. You just can't wait for that. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Well, I gotta get going now. Gotta come up with more ideas. So if you want to face, you want to Skype chat, Skype me at Rich Sarasol. And then if you want a, a follow me on Twitter, Chewy7 is my name there. Good night, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. See you tomorrow. Bye now.